This one about the chemist, Humphrey Davy, is a relatively straightforward exercise in parallelism. So think about it. He wrote this essay, Essay on Heat and Light, and this did two things. It put forth a critique, and it also put forth a vision. So those two, the critique and the vision, have to be parallel. So in A they are critique, vision, both nouns. In B we get critique and then also envisioning, so noun verb, that's not parallel. In C we get noun verb, that's not parallel. D we get verb noun, that's not parallel. And then E we get verb and verb, so that's also parallel. So now we're down to between A and E. Trouble with E is it has this really awkward phrase as well as his own envisioning of. So first of all, that's a really roundabout way to say things. And second of all, emphasizing his own, that's very strange because we're talking about the new chemistry that he hoped to found. Well, he's the only one with this idea. Who else would be talking about it? So there's something very strange about emphasizing his own envisioning. So the fact that this is wordier and also logically kind of awkward really nukes this answer. And right away, that leads us to answer choice A. Answer choice A is direct, clear, sleek, and free of grammatical error. It is by far the best answer choice.